Hi, welcome back. So, so finishing up then the adduction portion of the rocket base combined cycle. If you had this, that's nothing to do with the RDRE. This is just the theory in general, kind of sticking to some 1D assumptions here. So in this last step, the wanted to go through, if you it's just assumed it was an ideal gas, so we can start understanding how different variables interact. It, it'll be wrong because, you know, the rocket exhaust is, is definitely not an ideal gas. It's full of water and CO2 and all that. And these are at higher temperatures where usually the ideal gas starts to being not quite right. But this will give us a feel for the levers to turn when we're designing the rocket base combined cycle. And, and, and you'll see how this adds pressure. And so the energy term from last time, I, I just took this portion here, and we know that for an ideal gas that the because this is ultimately our maximum entropy condition at three means this is actually sonic and therefore the velocity is the square root of gamma RT3. And so if I plug that in to this velocity and then you do some math, right? There's a little bit of math here and you know the definition of gamma, which is ratio of specific heats, you can eventually see that this becomes in this format. And for any of you who've had compressed flow, this, you know, this form is probably you're used to seeing where it's, You've pulled the CP, so the, the specific heat and the temperature outside the equation, and you get a one plus gamma minus one over two and times that Mach number Q. And that's, this form is gonna show up then in the entire energy equation. And then the other one that I did over here, for last time we had the velocity, and this form is accurate, but now we know, actually we know V3, what we didn't know is rho three. And so solving for rho three, we now actually have, again, one plus X, X is the you know ratio of the rocket mass flow rate compared to the air flow rate. And then it's density to area, the ratio of area two to area three. And then it's the ratio of V2 to V3. Well, V3 is now just sonic. And so it's, it's this. So we'll use that here in a second. Okay. And so what we want to then finish with is the full uh, version of this for T3. So let's go, if we go back to the energy equation, and then I'm, I'm going to just solve it for um, the very end at T3. And so, right, we had, this was the right-hand side of our equation. We had the, the additives on the other side. And so in the end, T3, in an ideal gas situation, we have X and then TR. And by the way, I'm going to just assume the specific heats are the same. We're going to treat that rocket exhaust as if it's air or it, it's the same constituent as, as yeah, just air, it, which is wrong. But this is going to see, let, let us help see what drives what. So, X times TR, because it's the specific heats have now all dropped out of the equation because they're the same, one plus gamma minus one over two of the rocket exhaust Mach number squared. And so that was this portion of the energy equation, right? the, the energy coming from the detonation engine. And then you had the energy coming from the air. And so that's then T2. And one plus gamma minus one over two, that Mach number squared, and it's subsonic. So Mach two here is subsonic. And then that all gets divided by one plus X, because right on the far side of the term, we had this, this adding up, right? M3 is actually one plus X times mass flow rate of air. And then the, the math here, because I'm actually gonna do one more step where I know that Mach three is actually equal to one. And so I'll go ahead and finish the math on this. And so that you end up seeing this is gamma plus one over two. Okay, so that's T3. And then what we're really after is what is the pressure gain? And so P3 to P2, well, let's just plug in ideal gas, right? Rho three R T3, rho two R T2. The R's cancel. Right. And so you have row three. In fact, you can see the row two on the bottom. So I'm going to take credit for that and have it cancel out. And so this is one plus X that row canceled a two over a three. Fantastic. And then V two over gamma RT three. Well, I'm going to write V two here for a second. All right. In fact, um, if I multiply top and bottom by the square root of R. So let me, let me stay here and realize that we have a gamma 
R T3. That was here. But now see that we've got a T2. So if I multiply the top and bottom by gamma R, gamma R, okay, you will, um, right, I, I can end up seeing that this is, this is going to pull together and give, uh, create velocity. So one of the square, one of the T2s will come here and, and give the speed of sound C2, which turns that into a Mach number. Okay. And then um, T3, that was then up here, that I forgot to put up here, T3, that will then take one of those and then the gamma R cancel. And so in the end here, you then have one plus X, again, the area ratios. And then that became the Mach number. Okay. And then this is just the square root of um, T3 over T2. So, so we know if we know if T3 is hotter, we're going to get a pressure gain. So, so, so taking a look at this, what 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 is going to turn out into a pressure gain? Right, I have some choice of x. I'm driving with that rocket that's carrying a bunch of heat, which is going to make T3 hotter. And so this whole thing then becomes a gain. Now you can see there might be a limitation on A3. Now comment on this, A3 because in the end we are turning off the detonation engine. We, we can make A3 lower, smaller than A2, it's okay, but you just have to pay attention to the Mach number at 2, right? If, if the RDRE is off and it's subsonic, then making the area lower will have it start approach Mach 1 on its own. And so, you know, in, in a ramjet condition, we may not want that. In fact, we may actually have a specific velocity we're really looking for, um, you know, here. Th there might be a velocity here, not at the throat, the velocity here that we're trying to control. So we, we may... We may not want to, definitely would not on its own want to have that go sonic. So there's some latitude there to pay, pay attention to A2 and A3. But then ultimately, it's, you see really here, it's that it's the energy, ultimately it's the energy coming from the rocket. Now this all only works because this is supersonic and then you form a shock. So don't don't lose that you can just add heat. Then no, that's not the case. This, this all worked out because we had a supersonic ejection. It was sucking in and then going sonic. It was, we were maximizing the entropy. This is the fallout of that. So this, this no longer holds true if you're not actually driving with a supersonic ejector, okay? Uh, and so then I am going to make this just, you know, I'm going to go ahead and fill in T3 so you can see um, it might be a little messy, but we'll, we'll see then in the end, you know, what, what variables are really driving this, okay? And I'll, I'll try and write a little bit smaller. 1 plus X. There's the area ratios. There's Mach. And then that T2 will fall out of here. So this is square root of, be a long graph, that might not be an F, X, the ratio of the rocket temperature compared to T2, which is going to be way hotter. 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2, the Mach number of the rocket. And then T2 just fell out of this. So that's 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2. Mach 2, again, which is subsonic squared, and then all of that divided by 1 plus x, and then gamma plus 1 over 2. Okay, so there you have it. Again, um, it's mainly coming from the heat addition of the rocket, but don't lose fact that, that this actually, in this term, this is the rocket exhaust. Um, the Mach number is actually big as well. This gamma minus 1 over 2 times that Mach rock, rocket does contribute quite a bit. Uh, but you wouldn't be wrong, and then taking a look at this as saying, hey, since inside of the detonation engine to outside, even though there's exhaust nozzle, there is, even if I assumed constant energy, which is going to be fairly true, you're just kind of converting it from thermal to kinetic. So you're shifting the, the, you're shifting the temperature to the velocity. Um, that really it's, it's a heat addition from the combustion reaction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't lose sight that this only works on a supersonic ejector forming a shock. Right, so it's it's not just adding energy. You can't just you know burn something, deflag, and, and just have it fall out. No, you, you have to you have to go through, drive the supersonic, get the mixing, drive it sonic, but you're gonna get that, it's gonna show back up as a as a pressure ratio here compared to state two. Compared to state two. Uh, and then you can work yourself out uh, that as as X say goes to zero, if you're if you're dialing that rocket exhaust back, that you can see that the pressure ratio should start going down 
right? In fact, because it's that X is is going to start killing that energy. Now, there's some X where you won't you won't have enough to go sonic. So, so it's not at X equals zero. This fails. It's actually before X equals zero. You wouldn't have enough to, to go sonic. Um, that, that'll be more in the specific of the actual balance itself. So there you go. This is, this is why rocket based combined cycle work. Again, um, it's an old idea. It's known to have worked for a long time. The detonation engine solves that this length itself is actually way shorter. And so it uh, gives it enabling uh, a more realistic system. And then of course, because you are having constant uh, volume combustion inside the RDRE, what you are gonna show up here, if in, instead of just having a deflagration, what, what you end up showing up with is by the time you expand, because you're higher pressure inside the R RDRE, by the time you expand to whatever this P2 is, assuming it's matched, you are going to still have um, higher temperatures inside of it. And so that, that rocket temperature is going to be hotter. So, so detonation engines do educt better. Um, they are going to give you more pressure gain than just a deflagration. But the main driver behind this now working is the length.